everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video I'm going to show you how to pack your toiletries uh, if you're traveling. But first, if you're looking to get organized, you can check out my free organizing video series on my website Alejandra.tv. The link is below. Okay, so one of the things um, when it comes to packing your toiletries is, you know, you leave, tra you leave packing for last minute and then you end up just like shoving things inside your cosmetic bag. Um, you might have spills or you might have left something, um, but either way, I'm going to show you what I do. So I recently switched my cosmetic bag. Uh, I was using this one before, which I talked about and I've shown a few times, uh, but there was something that was kind of bugging me about this, but I never knew what it was, but I finally realized that it's because it doesn't stand on its own and it takes up a lot of counter space. And I finally realized that um, like a few months ago. And so I made the switch to a new one like this. I still love Bagolini. Unfortunately, they don't make a standing bag, cosmetic bag organizer. So I found this one. Um, that I really like. It has all the compartments that I'm looking for. It stands on its own. It's nice and soft. Uh, let me show you everything that's in here. All right. So um, I have my makeup inside here, which I'll go into more detail in a second. Um, but basically what I've done is I've transferred all of my big shampoo bottles and conditioner and body wash bottles into smaller travel size containers that are leak proof. So for a while, for like the past five years, I've been using these little travel organizers right here. And Recently, they started leaking. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if maybe the seal got loose or something, but they started leaking and so I had to switch and find a different solution. So these are the Nalgene, the two ounce bottles. Unfortunately, they don't make three ounce. You can either get two ounce or four ounces. So if you're carrying on, two ounces is a good size. Um, but all I did was label each, um, you know, each shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash with what it was with my label maker. If you don't have a label maker, you can just write it on and stick uh, pa clear packing tape on top of it uh, and so you could just create your own label but I put everything inside of a Ziploc bag so in case it does spill it won't get you know it won't mess up everything else but it hasn't spilled so far all right so those go there so the next thing I have here is this first aid kit so I basically just like made my own first aid kit out of a free uh, dentist bag like a free like you know like the goodie bag you get when you go to the dentist I always get this every time I go to my dentist so I felt really bad you know tossing these so I tried to reuse them and it works perfectly for a uh, first aid kit in your travel bag. So inside here I just have different like you know everyone's gonna have a different first aid kit but basically stuff I have is like Advil um, and I just reuse this container every time I just refill it. Um, then there's like band-aids, neosporin, stuff for my stomach, there's a tampon, there's, um, there's wipes, there's stain remover, um, then like a few other things. All right, so that kind of just like hangs out in the middle. Um, my lotion. So I won't bring this big thing of lotion if I'm carrying my bag on, um, but if I do check my bag, I'll, I always put a big lotion inside of a big bag. So in case it does spill, nothing else gets dirty. All right, my razor. So I found this ra this like perfect razor box at Dollar Tree. It's actually a vitamin organizer and I just took out the inserts and my razor fits perfectly inside. And now I'm not gonna like, you know, have any sharp edges to reach into and risk like cutting myself or something. So it just fits nicely in there. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I put my Q-tips inside of a reusable prescription bottle because um, they fit perfectly and they're like, you know, not gonna get dusty and dirty and stuff. You can also reuse these things for like safety pins or for medication or for makeup. Um, then like deodorant and shaving cream. There's floss. Uh, face lotion, again, goes into the same Nalgene bottle that's leak proof, has a nice tight seal. And then I just put a label on the outside for face lotion. Okay, and then I love to use these little baggies um, for, again, storing other um, like smaller things. So these are sharps, so I put them in a plastic bag, but it's my scissors and my, um, my tweezers. Again, if I was gonna um, check my bag, I would carry these if I'm carrying them on, like you can't bring tweezers, so that wouldn't be in there. Um, and then my vitamin organizer, I put a rubber band around it. So in case these little doors open, like the vitamins don't fall out and get dirty and dusty and stuff. Uh, so it just creates a nice tight seal. Okay, so that is really what's inside the main compartment. Let me show you um, the makeup. So makeup, I do like the same thing. I use these little baggies to kind of contain everything just like that. Um, and you can use like button bags or smaller than, smaller than this, but I always save my button bags or like the bags that um, 
like the extra pieces of thread comes on when you buy a shirt and I use them for traveling or around the house and stuff. Um, these particular, this particular size I purchased, but um, yeah, button bags were great. I always put my eyeliner in a bag like this because this always, I don't know how, but it always leaks and there's always black ink all over my bag. All right, and that's really everything. Everything else is just, again, in baggies and they all go inside this makeup organizer. So I found that like every time I travel, I always, like for a while I was always overpacking and now I just bring the essentials, what I need, nothing more, nothing less because I rather carry a lighter bag and like risk not having something than carry something heavy throughout the airport on the trip and you know, have everything just in case. All right, so that's that. And then I've shown this organizer before. This came with my Zuka bag. Um, these inserts came with the suitcase, but I just put my two brushes inside and then um, my two things that I use for my hair, like tonic lotion and then split, straight blow dry cream. So one of the things I do to make packing faster and easier is I keep a lot of the things that are in here in this cosmetic bag. So for example, this, this and like this and a few other things will stay inside the bag. So the majority of the time I'll have the bag already packed. It's just a matter of adding a few extra things like deodorant and like some makeup and then, um, oh, like my vitamin organizer and stuff, but everything else stays inside to make it nice and um, fast to pack and get ready for my trip. Okay, and then my flat iron goes inside this nice heat resistant bagalini organizer. So basically you can put a hot flat iron in here and nothing is gonna get burned, damaged um, because the bag is heat resistant. So is there something that you do that's really cool when you travel to stay organized and stay efficient? If so, leave a comment below and let us know what that is. And if this is your first time watching any of my videos, you can check out my website, all100.tv for more tips on getting organized. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.